Hi, YouTubers and WhatsAvers everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back in our video. Well, I have some new things, pre-shave and post-shave, that I'm going to use for this morning shave. So I'm really kind of excited to use these and show these to you. I'm going to kick it off with uh, ACH Brito Glyce Soap. I bought this on Amazon. This is a pre-shave soap. It has a high glycerin content, and all you do is wet your face. You can work it into your hands or actually move the puck around your face and actually build a slickness on your face as pre-shave. So if you're having trouble with pre-shave oils, you might want to consider uh, this glycerin soap. Uh, it's uh, Glyce, A-C-H Brito Glyce Soap. The Glyce A-C-H Brito, okay. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna be using Mitchell's Wool Fat Shave Soap. I'm gonna be using my Edwin Jagger uh, short-handled razor with the uh, black ebony handle. This is actually called the ebony razor, I believe. Uh, terrific little razor, great Edwin Jagger razor head. I'm gonna be using a treat razor blade for the uh, actual shave. I'm gonna be using my Vikings Blade Dark Raven uh, synthetic shaving brush that is soaking in the sink right now. I can show you that right now. Dark Raven, right there. I'm gonna finish up with uh, something new, uh, a Parker Alum Block. This thing's a monster. Comes in its own travel case, but my gosh, this thing is really, that, really very, very large. Look how large that is. But this was less than $12. Uh, look how large it is, and you can get a lot of, um, a lot of coverage with it. Uh, it covers a lot of real estate, so we're gonna use that this morning. I'm gonna finish it off with some uh, Aqua Velva Ice Blue. That's a standby, that's really nice. And something else that's new, uh, Luberderm Men's 3-in-1 Lotion. This is for body, face, and post-shave lotion. It's fragrance-free, triple action formula, moisturizes, improves, and soothes skin. Aloe and rich formula helps soothe skin after shaving, light, fast, absorbing formula. So that's how they're marketing it. And they're marketing as a body and face and post-shave lotion. So we're gonna use this, it's fragrance-free, so it won't get in the way of uh, your aftershave scent anything like that. You may even be able to mix a little bit of aftershave uh, with it. Do you do that? Do you mix your aftershave with your fragrance-free balm and kind of make a, a scented balm? That's kind of neat. Um, but we're gonna use this. This contains mineral oil. Uh, I've been seeing some online debate about mineral oil. Uh, some people say it's absolutely great. Other people have their doubts about it. Uh, give me your thoughts about that as well. Uh, and I'm gonna use it mostly for upstairs and a little bit on the face too. So let's get the shave going. I mean, this is uh, this is great. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wet the face and we're going to use the Glyce Soap as a uh, pre-shave. So let's get that going. Now I'm going to just take this a little bit. I'm gonna just, put it in, just dip it in the water a little bit like that. And I am just gonna move it around my face here just a little bit as I would a shaving stick and get some on there. And I'm gonna set it aside, work it in my hands a little bit, and massage it into my face. This will not lather up. You're not gonna get a, a lather, you're gonna get a thin coat of slickness. Now, you can see, I got a good amount on there. And <clears throat> what a lot of guys will do is, some wet shavers, not all, some wet shavers will go ahead and rinse a little bit of this off. Some will rinse completely off, some will leave it completely on. For this shave, I'm gonna go a little bit halfway. I'm gonna take a little bit off. Like that. Okay, you can see I still have some on there and that added water helped thin it out a little bit, which is what I wanted. So you can leave it on or you can thin it out a little bit, you know, do a half rinse like I just did. I tend to do the half rinse. Okay, here's my Mitchell's Wool Fat. Gonna dump that out. Got my Dark Raven shaving brush. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a ring. Not much, and I'm gonna go ahead and build a lather here. And I'm gonna probably go for about a minute, so hang in there with me. 
All right. That's got it. That's less than a minute, actually. But I've got a lot of nice cream on the brush, and i got a nice brush load. So we're going to go ahead and do a face layer here. Boom. Lather. Wow, nice, really nice, wow. Okay, that's that. Let's get my blade going. And my hands are pretty slick from the, uh, from the Glyce soap. Absolutely very, very slick. You know what, let me wipe them off a little bit. I've got a towel down here. They are slick. Okay, hopefully that rubberized handle will offset that slickness and give me a little bit of uh, give me a little bit of grip there. Here's my nice balance. Okay, let's heat this razor up and let's get going. I like to run it under some hot water and then give it a swirl in the sink and kind of bring it up to temperature so it's not cold against my face when I'm doing a warm water shave. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. A lot of glide there. A lot of nice glide. But then again, that's because this is a, uh, it's a nice mild razor, but that glyce glycerin soap really helps. Wow, a lot of glide, a lot of smoothness on the neck. Really nice. Very, very nice. A lot of, a lot of nice slickness there, really. I mean, the blade just glides across the skin, so the glyce soap is doing its job. Okay, let's rinse. I have a lot of slickness left on my face, and uh, the shave, the first pass was on par with everything else, with uh, any other mild razor out there. And the rubberized handle was a good choice because it is giving me uh, a good amount of grip. The only thing I'd be careful when you rinse, and I forgot to do it, is you don't want to get that in your eye. It stings just, well, it doesn't sting. It just gets a little bit in your eye there. Let me just... Uh, let me just, like that. Okay, that's better. Now, careful when you rinse. I told myself I was going to close my eyes a little tighter. Uh, but you will get some in your eye. And it's not, it's not bad. It's just that, you know, it's a little soap in your eyes. The slickness will, might, might sneak in there. Okay, so here we go. Pass number two, we're going to go east to west across the grain.
All right, that's the second pass done. Let's rinse and make sure I close my eyes this time. A lot of slickness still left from the soap and that glycerin soap, but I got a couple of areas that still probably need a little bit of work. So I'm gonna do a light third pass. Nothing major, just, I mean, if I wanna to go to the office, I could, but I wanna do a third pass. And I wanna see how, how the slickness sustains through three passes of the shave. I mean, it's there for the first two, so I'm pretty sure it'll be there for the, for the third. I'm gonna wipe my hands off again. The water in the sink is very, very slick from that glycerin soap. So I'm gonna wipe the, uh, the handle off here a little bit so I get a better grip. Okay, we're gonna go uh, south to north against the grain. Yeah, just some of those areas, a few areas on the neck. Uh, need a third pass. And my chin also. When I do these videos, I have to pay more attention to my chin. Yeah, that got it. Yeah. All right, that's the third pass done. Let's rinse. Really nice, really, really nice shave. We're gonna do my two final rinses. One warm and one cold to really get this extra slickness, <clears throat> this excess slickness off. Well, you could call it extra slickness as well because you're adding slickness from this glaze soap, uh, like you would a uh, pre shave oil. So, we're going to go with a warm water rinse here to knock off all that slickness and then go to a cold water rinse to close our pores. Okay, here's my warm water rinse. All right, I got most of it. Took a little while to get that rinsed off. Here we go, we're gonna switch to cold water. <laughs> One of my favorite parts of the shave, cold water, cold water rinse. Really just wakes the skin up. Here we go, cold water rinse. Oh, that's nice. That's really, really nice. I got a clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Oh boy. Wow, that was nice. Boy, that's a nice shave. Really nice. A nice mild shave, but very, very efficient. Really nice. Boy, that's, well, my skin feels like I had a nice close shave. Yeah, <laughs> obviously feels really good. But the um, Allen block here, and this thing's a monster, this Parker. Uh, razor Allen block will definitely tell the tale. So uh, let's run some cold water and run this underneath there. So when you first get it, it is a little bit on the rough side on the surface, but that should smooth out through repeated uses. Not like the Osma Allen block, which is smooth right off the bat because it's it's machined down from a larger Allen block. So it's it's, it's, it's a one. A solid block and it's smoothed out from sanding and manufacturing that sort of thing okay so here we go we're gonna go ahead and just wet this but that should <clears throat> that should all smooth out over use it's not that bad okay here we go a lot of coverage Wow <laughs> My gosh. Yeah, that does it about half, that does it about half the time. Uh, a little bit of a zing here and there, that's for sure. Uh, and that's a mild razor too, so I'm surprised by that. A little bit of a zing here and there. 
but um, still a nice close shave and uh, really, really very nice. So it's nothing, there's no stinging, just a few zings here and there, uh, which is pretty much par for the course. Um, so we've got this case here and we're going to put that in there and let that air dry. Now they say that this is for travel. I don't know, that's, <laughs> that's pretty large for travel, but still it's, it's great uh, for home use because it's so large. Uh, how long it's going to hold up, I don't know, but um, less than $12. So you might want to check that out on Amazon if you want a larger Allen block that uh, covers a little more area. I'll have a link for that below. Let, uh, let me let this set up a little bit. Uh, I'll do some cleanup and I'll come right back to finish up this shave and show you the, uh, the Lubriderm. Okay, hang in there. I'll be right back. All right. Again, love this uh, Vikings Blade Dark Raven brush. Look how wonderfully dry it is. It's just, it's just amazing. I mean, uh, give it some good rinsing and, uh, you know, just blot it a little bit like this. And then, uh, you know, a couple of vigorous shakes. And uh, you might have to do uh, two sets of that, you know, rinse, uh, blot, shake, a little bit of this, and then rinse again, you know, blot, and then shake, and then like this, and that's what you get. I mean, it's really a terrific, terrific brush. I mean, uh, it's been wonderful. And the thing is, is that it's a synthetic hair, but it feels like a natural hair brush. And that's the amazing thing. It's nice and soft. It does a great job in generating a face lather. Um, you know, I could probably use this for uh, shaving cream as well, because it has that, that feel of a natural hair badger brush. It really is amazing. So I like it a lot. So it fits nicely on my Admiral stand like that. See that? Very nice. So I like that a lot. And oh, you know what? Hey, I might as well just, um, just buff that razor a little bit. I'll clean that later just to show you though. I'll open it up and I'll clean it later just to show you how that sits on there. Nice. Very nice. Now the other thing is with the Mitchell's wool fat, um, just wipe off the bowl of all the excess lather that may have overflowed and it has a very loose fitting lid so you can just go ahead and cover that up. Some guys like to air it out, some guys cover it up as long as it's not trapping too much in there. I don't know. Tell me, you know, comment below and let me know what you do. Do you, do you cover your soap up? Do you let it air out? Right now I'm going to let that cover up and we're going to use some aqua velva. Get some aftershave going. Oh yeah, good choice. Good choice for the morning shave. Really, really nice. All right, and uh, the Lubriderm. We're just going to go here with uh, one. Oh, just wow, look at that. Let's just try that for upstairs and see how that goes. Wow, that's all you need. Wow. It does feel like it has a lot of moisturizing properties. Really, really nice. And uh, <laughs> I'm getting that Aqua Velva uh, post-shave feeling now. It's great. There's a vibrancy and a bracing there that is just wonderful. Boy, that's terrific. Wow, that's really, really nice. But if I want to, I could also take this here and if you feel that you have a little irritation here or there with the shave, um, I didn't. The alum block did its job and that uh, skin bracer felt absolutely great. Didn't sting, didn't burn, just felt great, felt invigorating. Um, okay, so, <clears throat> hey, <laughs> great shave. Really, really great, great shave. This uh, soap uh, did a really, really nice job of giving me a lot of slickness and added protection to my shave. Uh, whether or not it's better than, uh, let's say, a pre-shave oil, this is the one I like a lot, the Vikings Blade Gentle Mint pre-shave oil. I like this a lot. Uh, and I'm kind of partial to pre-shave oils, but this is a nice alternative if you're not having much success with pre-shave oils. This really, really is. Uh, it's not going to be something you're going to shave with alone. 
it's a pre-shave soap and it does a really really nice job um, again I think I get um, a different kind of slickness with this let me put it that way the pre-shave oil is very good this is very good you're gonna have to try it yourself to see which one is better for you and your skin I tend to gravitate towards the pre-shave oil but this is big this will be a nice change of pace every once in a while it really really well uh, I like it a lot now uh, it comes in a in a, um, uh, a cellophane uh, wrapper and uh, what I did was I took the, uh, the label off and I put it on this lid. This is a uh, Taylor of Old Bond Street shaving bowl that uh, I hung on to. I cleaned it out and that is where this sits and it sits in there perfectly. And then I can take this lid after it's dried out and I can do that. I have the label on top so I know what it is. So if you have an old Taylor of Bond uh, Taylor of Bond Street shaving bowl, hang on to it. It'd be a good storage uh, container for this soap. So I just wanted to pass that along. So that worked out really, really well that way. Um, as far as the Lubriderm goes, boy, that's that's really nice. This really does have a lot of moisturizing properties in it. I'm surprised. Probably the aloe and the mineral oil. Check it out, and it's going to be a jack of all trades because you can use it for your ha your your hands, your face, your body, and a post shave routine. So for seven or eight bucks, you're hitting all the bases on it. Really, really nice. I'm going to continue to use it, and I'm going to see how my skin uh, uh, reacts to it. A lot of people think mineral oil will clog your pores. Some people are saying absolutely not. It's the healthiest skin out there. It's the healthiest thing out there for your skin. So time will tell my first use with it so I don't have any kind of a track record. Um, the uh, Parker Allen Block did a great job. It really did. I, uh, I, really, uh, I really enjoyed, uh, there it is, I really enjoyed using this. Um, I prefer the solid Osma Allen Block, but uh, you know, look at the size of this thing. You get a lot of coverage and zip, 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 and you're done. And it's alum, and it did a great job. Going to be interesting to see how long this lasts. Okay, so that's it. It was a great shave this morning. I really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Uh, thanks for sharing. Please subscribe. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Let me know. Comment below. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip, George other cartoons, other videos like this, and I'll see you again real soon.